In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Pear Deck add-on to make presentations interactive. The first step you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the add-ons menu in Google Slides. You will get an add-on. The add-on we want is Pear Deck. If you don't see it just pop up like I saw, just type in Pear Deck, enter, and then go ahead and click on that and install it. I've already installed it on mine. The first time you do this, you'll be asked to sign into your Google account and accept some permissions. But after you do that, all you'll do is go back to your add-ons and you'll see Pear Deck pop up here, and then you'll open the Pear Deck add-on. What that does is it opens this sidebar over here, and this is going to be the key to making our content interactive. So you can just create your normal Google Slides as you would any other Google Slideshow, and you can go ahead and share with your partner if you're collaborating. All of that works the same, but using the sidebar, you can make your slides interactive. So say that I have a slide where I am presenting some new information. Then maybe I have some bullet points, and say at this point I want to engage the full class with a multiple choice question. I would go over to the sidebar and press the choice option. You'll see this pops up and I can put in my options A, B, C, and I can even add more if I want. If I added too many, I can delete them. So let's keep with A, B, and C. So I have something about thing one, something about thing two, something about thing three, update slide. And you're not gonna see the multiple choice questions because that's gonna pop up when you start presenting. But what you see is this little bottom bar down here and do not delete this because this is what makes the slide interactive, okay? And then what you'll see down here in the little note section is that this is a multiple choice slide and here are your options A, B, and C. Now if you need to change what options A, B, and C mean, you can't just change it down here. You actually have to go back to choice and just change it here and press update slide and that would update things for you. So that's how you add multiple choice, that's one thing. And then say, you know, you wanna get the class's thoughts. What are your thoughts? So say we add a slide like this and say we just insert an image right within Google. So let's insert an image. Let's use this one. Now, say that I want this to be a type of question where the class responds with some text so they can type out their thoughts. So I would just choose this text option in Pear Deck Again, this bottom bar pops up, just don't touch it, leave it there, and when I actually present, everybody in the class will be able to type their response. I'll show you what that looks like at the end of this presentation. Let's just keep it going for now with some other slide types that you can use. Another one that you might use is a draggable, so I'm gonna say like, place your dot on the map, and I'm gonna put in a map. So insert image, choose from the web, and I'm just gonna do a map of the USA. And so say I ask for a specific question like, mm, where did you travel in the last year in the US? Place your dot on all those places. I would choose this draggable type, and then I can choose as many draggables as I want. So say that I want it to look more like a pin icon. So say that I want a red pin, and you can choose how big you want that to be. This is bigger and this is smaller, okay? And then say I'm gonna allow people to add three different pins, and I can change the color if I want update slide, and I can see that everybody has those three dots that they're gonna be able to drag as soon as I start presenting. You can do the same thing with text. I showed choice, I showed number, is if you want them to do a number response. Website, if you wanna embed a website. Drawing would be just freehand drawing anywhere on the slide with their mouse and then draggable is what I just showed here. Now the other thing that you can do is you can actually use some things from the Pear Deck slide library. So some of the questions are like beginning of the lesson. Say you like this, drag your dot if you're ready to move on. So that might be a good way to see if people are paying attention during your presentation. I can move that around. And I can even change what the text of this says. So say that you know I'm talking about an issue and I wanna know, do you agree or disagree? I can just change the text of that. That's not gonna mess anything up. The only thing I can't do is touch this bar down here at the bottom. You'll see that I still have this draggable icon and it's just on this slide. So I can change any of the text that I want in any of these templates. So let's go back and let's look at some during the lesson things. So say that I want to use this slide right here. Say I actually wanna put this at the end. So I could use their little timeline and I can just edit these. And then this is a text type of response. So when I engage my class and present, then students will be able to type their response to this type of question. Remember, any of these are editable. So any of these that I pull in from the template, this is a true or false multiple choice question. 
But I could change this. I could say, do you agree or disagree? I would just change the text on this. And then remember to change the multiple choice options. I do actually have to go to the choices thing. So click on choice. And instead of true false, I'm gonna do agree, disagree. So use the templates as some inspiration, but remember that you can mix it up and use it. So I'm done designing my slides at this point. Now, instead of using this present like you normally do with Google Slides, you will present with Pear Deck. So on the day of your presentation, you actually have to go to your add-ons, go to Pear Deck, open the Pear Deck add-on, make sure that the sidebar is open here, and then present with Pear Deck. At that point, it's going to do a little magic. And what's gonna happen is this little pop-up is gonna come on your screen. You can close that little dashboard and then you'll see this pop up. And so this is how you get the whole class on. You tell them go to joinpd.com and then enter this join code. So this is what you have on the projector in front of the classroom. And then I'm gonna show you what you'll have all the students do in your class. They go to joinpd.com, they sign in, and then they enter the code that you have up. Okay, so they'll see on their screen whatever you're projecting. As soon as everybody has signed in, you can go ahead and just click on the X. You move through the slides. And as you move through the slides, the class moves through the slides. So here was where we had the multiple choice option. So this is what you show on the board. And then what everybody else will see on the screen is a multiple choice option. So they'll be able to choose their multiple choice option. When you're ready to talk about the responses, you press the show response. And then you'll be able to see the responses of the class and you'll be able to actually talk about it. When you're ready to move to the next slide, you would move everybody to the next slide. And then this is a draggable. So the class will be able to drag their dot. And then you, on the projector, when you're ready, you would show the responses and you would see where the dots are. Now, one thing to know is that there's different layouts. So this overlaid layout is what you usually want for draggable dots because then you'll see all the dots piled up on top of one another and you'll get a whole sense of what the class is responding with. So that's probably what you'll want for there. There's a grid layout and that would be all of them separately and a list layout would be one at a time that you could scroll through. But again, overlaid layout is probably what you would want for any of these draggable dot questions. As you move along, everybody moves along with you. So when you ask this question, what are your thoughts? And this was a text type question. Here's where the class will be able to answer you. As they're typing, if you show responses, you will be able to see it one at a time. Place your dot on the map. I had three dots to move around. One, two, and three. Again, remember to show responses when you're ready. At this point, I think you get what is happening here. And when you're all done with their presentation, you can just end your session and that's it. That is a brief introduction to how you get started with creating an interactive presentation using Pear Deck in your Google Slides and also how to present it and engage your entire class. Hope that helps.